tienen que hacer. Vamos a ver parte que me envió de una, una polémica que hubo entre una estudiante de la Universidad de Columbia y el presidente de la República, en la cual ella decía, mentira total, la mandaron a eso, que nosotros aquí humillábamos a los haitianos, éramos racistas, le machacábamos la cabeza, que eran unos abusadores. ¿Por qué que esa gente, donde quiera la hacen? Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Eh, el neto, lo que me envió el dueño del presidente del canal sobre esto que sucedió en la Universidad de Columbia. Adelante. My question is, the Dominican Republic was established as the Dominican Republic after 300 years of colonial rule, which included the enslavement and massacre of imported African people. Like here, America and other countries affected by colonialism, the legacy of slavery still lives in its laws and practices. Homophobia and transphobia are racist European concepts enforced on enslaved Africans to increase the amount of African children to be enslaved for monetary benefit. Generational trauma from colonialism and slavery also created colorism that is hyper-present in the Dominican Republic. Colorism, as seen today in the maltreatment of Haitian people, especially pregnant Haitian people already in the DR, so not on the border, along with homophobic and transphobic laws and attitudes are legacies from slavery. What are your plans to rid the Dominican Republic of the racist attitudes of homophobia, transphobia, and colorism? Let me tell you, 85% uh, of the Dominican people are mixed race. There has never been an issue of race a real issue of race. Issue of well, race that's my opinion. Today. That's your opinion, and I am it's telling you. It's not an opinion. It's something that a well, lot of people. Well, but my opinion is that a lot of people darker than you could tell you. Yes. I mean, this should be a respectful exchange of opinions. So don't, please, do I not. I would love it to be a respectful exchange. Yes. So we don't have. We have never have a problem. I mean, of race. In any society, you have a small, a small area that you can have problems. You have it here in this country. You have it here in a lot of other countries, even in the most democratic. That is for any democratic uh, country and, and that respect and fight for the rights of the people, that's unacceptable. What I am telling you, that's not a white problem in the Dominican Republic because we are mixed race. Most, 85% uh, is a mixed race. We are also uh, daughters or grandsons of also of immigrants. The situation with Haiti, I don't think that there is any other country in the world that, that has this amount of statistics uh, about a uh, maternity hospital. Could you tell me, could you name just one country in the world that 35% of its maternity uh, beds are occupied by other country people? Just mention one country. There is no the one United of... States, I I don't think the United States have 35% occupied by, by foreigners in the maternity hospital. So, and we are not a rich country. Do, you, do we charge anything? You know that we don't charge nothing? To, to, to women are being removed forcibly and they're being hurt and they're... Well, like that's your opinion, but that's not the real issue opinion. that we have there. You can there. see the records from... Well, that's history. not the real situation. Yes, it is. And we are having... well. Excelente respuesta, presidente. Esa fue mandada a eso. Pero usted demostró que un presidente bilingüe, un defensor de la soberanía nacional, y usted acaba de subir alrededor de 10 puntos por esa postura firme y esa respuesta profesional, tanto en español como en inglés. Vamos a comerciales.